Hello, welcome back. Right, out in the range again. Again, it's minus four or something, so I'm freezing. And what we're gonna do here is do some magazine changes. Now, it's very common, a part of practical shooting is magazine changes, obviously. 25 rounds on a mag, you, what you'll have is a position of time where you have more than uh, 25 targets or 30 targets to shoot, have to change a magazine. Now, the idea behind it is always try and change a magazine when it's still got some rounds left in it. If you imagine when you're loading a magazine and you shoot it dry, you'll have an empty chamber at the end of it. And that means for the next round of magazine in, you'll have to rack the action forward. So always try and count the number of rounds you're shooting in the course of fire, just try and make sure you never shoot the gun dry. Sometimes that happens, sometimes doesn't. This little exercise you can do at home, uh, again with a non-loaded firearm, or you can do in your local range, because it's a static position. And literally it's a question of what I'm gonna do. It's a quite common to shoot two and drop a magazine and change. So I'm gonna load up, shoot two rounds, drop a mag, reload, drop a load me, and shoot two rounds each time. Now obviously if you're going to do it at home, don't do a loaded gun. But the range itself, you're quite static. Again, depends on the range orders, what you can have there. But here's a good exercise, just sort of gets to the process of actually you know, reloading and reloading and reloading. So, I'm going to start with a loaded gun. I'm on safe now. So literally it's going to be up, shoot two, and then drop and reload each magazine as a practice. Okay. overly quick <laughs> mainly because it's freezing cold <laughs> um, but you can see the process behind it all you need to do is keep going through that process one by one by one reloading 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 each time it's also worth noting as well is that when you drop a magazine on the floor the likelihood is that this will happen it's quite common if you can see that see the round is stuck up that's quite common when these magazines hit the floor now I'm shooting on grass here, so it's not a heavy position. These have little protectors in the bottom to ideally stop them being smashed. But it's relatively common, which is why you tend not to shoot a magazine you dropped to have that kind of misfeed on. There's something to bear in mind. And again, belt-wise, I've got this round my body at the moment because it is so cold. Normally I just shoot the t-shirt and belt on as normally. The thing about getting caught up in clothing is something to think about. A couple of stages I've done, I literally couldn't get out because my jumper's in the way. So, but because it's a cold, I'm trying to keep as warm as I can. So again, another exercise to try. Um, quite useful to have in this sort of these tries, it'll try little things as muscle maybe behind it. Because when you get to a course of fire in a competition, all of a sudden you remember how to do it and the process to follow. Okay, thanks for watching once again.